Top Story, a conversation with New York Times reporters on the top stories of the day. I'm Jane Wardemeyer, editor of New York Times Radio. Today I'm talking to Carl Hulse in Washington, where the House on Tuesday passed a two-week budget measure that cuts $4 billion in federal spending. Senate Democrats said they would quickly follow suit, and together they averted any threat of a government shutdown when money runs out on Friday. But what... This project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year, PCBWay is celebrating the 10th anniversary of its successful existence. On the occasion of this event, PCBWay provided its users with more conveniences such as big savings for certain products as well as discount of up to 80%. Log into the PCBWay site and start the PCBWay 10th anniversary tour, well, you will enjoy, enjoy Coupons, lucky draw, exclusive badges, unboxing blind boxes, and many other surprises. PCBWay is always your great choice. Hello, Internet Radio is a digital audio service that streams music, news, and other forms of audio content over the internet rather than being transmitted through traditional radio waves. Unlike traditional radio, which is limited by geographic range, Internet radio can be accessed from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Unfortunately, the price of such devices is still relatively high compared to the classic radio, so if we have some knowledge in the field of electronics, we can make it ours, ourselves for a very low price. The basic idea when planning for making of this device was that it should be as simple as possible so, so that it could be made even by beginners and self-builders with less experience. For those reasons, I will try to explain all the steps in order and in, and in detail. For this purpose, I choose Electro Crow Panel 2.8 inch ESP32 HMI display so that there is no need to study circuit diagrams, precise soldering and making a suitable quality case. This practical and inexpensive module contains on almost all the necessary components for such a radio, including microcontroller, battery charger circuit, uh, and even audio amplifier, and we only need to add a speaker and 3.7 volt lithium battery, which are connected with a suitable connector directly to the module. Control of the main functions is done through the touch panel, and more advanced options are set through a beautiful web interface. The brain of this radio is the well-known Your Radio Web Radio project, and all the credits goes to him, to them. On the given GitHub page, you can find detailed instru instructions for deploying the code on many different hardware platforms. And now I will explain you step by step how to implement the code that is modified specifically for this display module without dwelling on the way that it is on the way that it is customized for the sake of the simplification. First, we need to enable display module in the Arduino environment. For this purpose, we go to Arduino ID file, then preferences, where we add the ESP32 URL to boards manager, uh, uh, URLs as follow. Now click Tool, Boards Manager, and search for ESP32. It is recommended to install version 2.0.3 of ESP32 package. I already installed that, that version. Next, 
on Arduino ID tools ESP32 Arduino, we choose ESP32 Dev module. With this, the procedure of, for entering support for the specific display module in the Arduino ID is completed. Uh, just to note that the Arduino ID software version should be lower than 2.0.0 and I specifically use 1.8.15. At the end of the text, there is a link where you can download the code and libraries modified specifically for this project. First, we install the attached libraries, and if they uh, they were previously installed, we replace them with these given libraries. In my case, the libraries folder is located in my computer, Documents, Arduino, Libraries. I already installed this, these two libraries. Next, we need to install ESP32 file system uploader. For this purpose, we go to Documents, Arduino, create new folder named Tools, uh, and here we copy the, uh, in this folder we copy the ESP32 FS folder given below. Uh, to check if the plugin was successfully installed, we need to open uh, Restart Arduino ID. Now we go to Tools and check that you have the option ESP32 Sketch Data Upload. Now let's explain how to install the code. In the given folder Your Radio, we start the Your Radio in a sketch. Now we need to connect uh, the display module and select the appropriate COM port. In my case, port is COM4. Next we go to Tools, ESP32 Sketch Data Upload and wait a few seconds. Okay, when this step is finished, we need to upload the code. With this step, uploading the code is finished. Now we turn on the module for the first time and the message appears on the screen that access point has been started. The access point address is 192.168.4.1. Now we need to connect to U Radio AP access point with password 12345987. Next, go to the web browser and enter above mentioned address. Here uh, we can enter, uh, we can put the credentials for our local network.
we can actually set information for multiple local networks so depending on where we are the device would connect to the appropriate Wi-Fi network then press save and reboot after this by restarting the device it connects to our local network and the user interface of the internet radio is launched for the first time the IP address associated with our device is represented in the lower part of the screen with small, small numbers in my case this address is 192.168.100.2 40. We put this address in the web browser and enter a web interface where we can set many options many options of this internet radio now I'll, I will now present you with some of those options uh, this is play button volume up and volume down button volume up and volume down next equalizer Next in system settings. Uh, we, uh, we can update the firmware. Control screen options as flip screen or invert screen colors or even turn on and turn off screen and brightness control. Next, controls. We can increase or decrease volume steps, debug touch or flip touch. Next, we can set our time zone, Wi-Fi networks, and open weather maps, weather data for our location. At the end, we press the done button. We can also import uh, internet radios playlist as I mentioned at the beginning in order to get a complete portable internet radio we only need to connect a speaker and a lithium battery to the display module. I also added a small on-off -on swi on switch to turn the device on and off. I did assembly of these elements in the simplest way using the double-sided adhesive tape. The speaker was, to was to taken from an old deflective laptop and the battery from also deflective phone. And now let's see how this little internet radio works in real life. Due to the due to copyright restrictions, I will broadcast the stations very briefly or with reduced sound intensity. Immediately after switching on, the device connects to the available Wi-Fi network and starts broadcasting the last internet radio station that we listened to before. The screen shows the name of the station the method of compress of the sound signal, the name of the song or program that is currently being broadcast, then the real time, as well as, the, as a meteorological report for the selected location. The lower, the lower part of the screen shows the volume, volume of the sound and uh, Wi-Fi signal strength as well as the IP address received by the uh, from the local network. 
By moving the screen left and right, decrease and increase the sound volume. And by swiping down or up, we enter the screen where we can choose one of previously entered internet, uh, entered internet stations. And finally, a short conclusion. This is certainly the cheapest and simplest internet radio that you can make yourself if you have minimal knowledge in the field of electronics, and all thanks to this universal and practical display module. Despite the simplicity, it does not lag behind the terms of quality as well as the many options compared to commercial such devices. <laughs> 